I got my Prince shirt on today. That's good. I don't. <laughs> you don't have a Prince shirt, do you? <clears throat> nope. I do have a purple shirt, but it's kind of become a paint shirt and it's got a hole in it now. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Shaky Hands Art. With Fraylins and Friends. Fraylin and Friends. <laughs> and Prince. And Prince. <laughs> Halloween is coming. Yeah. So I, raked up, I raked up leaves yesterday. Oh, hey, you know what? Two loads of trailer loads of leaves. I hope. Oh, we should have kept some. There'll be more. Oh, yeah, there'll be more. <laughs> we could stuff, we could get an old pair of your jeans and an old shirt and make a hat or a face out of a an old pillowcase and put it all together, stuff it with leaves, <laughs> stuff everything with leaves, put a pair of your boots at the, or shoes, and we can set it out on the steps on Halloween as a scarecrow. Put, put a hat on it. Put it in a chair. Yeah, we'd have to put it in a chair. But we used to do that. Yeah. When we were kids, we used to do that. Well, we didn't do it at the farm because, but I guess when our kids were kids. Mm -hmm. But I remember going around seeing them. Uh, I got no pair of jeans anymore. What'd you do with all of them? Turn them into rags? I threw them away if they got knees and holes and stuff, so I threw them away. Hey, that's that. That's fashion today. Yeah, I know. That's style. <laughs> yeah. But this is supposed to be about Halloween. Yeah. And the, but the whole thing is Scarecrow started. Anyway, so don't go out and buy a scarecrow, just make one. Halloween. Halloween. That's, Halloween. that's the thing with editing, we can cut a lot of this stuff out. Halloween. Okay, we did, Maddie asked us to talk about Halloweens from the past and superstitions. And I remember one. Now, churches did start doing Halloween parties because they really weren't into the Halloween thing, but they knew the kids were, and they thought they'd be safer if they had a Halloween party at the church with tricks and treats, mostly treats, and we could dress up. And one year, <laughs> I guess I caused a little trouble. I was a teenager, and I chose my own costume. I decided to be a ghost. Hmm. And I can't remember what I wore, but it was all white. I mean, I was wearing white. And I put talcum powder in. Yeah, I know, it's supposed to be so terrible today. I put talcum powder all through my hair and on my face and every, every inch of my body that showed. And hairsprayed it on. <laughs> Talk about how to keep it on your face? Oil? Hairspray. Oh. We just, I, I closed my eyes and stopped breathing while somebody sprayed my face. You sprayed it. Yeah. It wasn't pleasant, but as long as I kept my eyes closed while they were doing it. And my mouth and nose. <laughs> but didn't like licking my lips afterwards. <laughs> anyway, I went out. We did all this prep. And I went out there and scared the out of the little ones. So I got some trouble. And my own mother said that I scared her. She said, what? <laughs> she said, I've never seen anybody look the part like that. So anyway, but here goes about ghosts, the tradition of ghosts. A lot of it goes back to the Celtic times. When, for some reason, on, well, this was you know, like during the potato famine and all of that when people were really starving, they would go out and they would ask for food. And so people would leave because they would just leave a plate of food outside their door. And this turned into some reason, I don't know, maybe because, but they thought the spirits of their relatives would come back on Halloween night. So they wanted to have all that stuff 
out there and have a nice little plate of food so that their spirits could kind of, could easily find their way back to, to their resting place or whatever. And this started this whole ghost thing or spirit thing. <laughs> and I don't know if that was the origin, but that's one place it started. Anyway. <laughs> You got any? Oh, come on. You went out for Halloween in some kind of costume. I just wore a mask. You just wore a mask? Yeah. What a... Party pooper. Party pooper, yeah. Now he's wore a mask. We're talking about taking the kids around. I didn't wear a mask then. No, but we dressed the cheese. He is deliberately being uncooperative on this. You do realize that? <laughs> it's his way of teasing me. <laughs> oh, I don't always take kids out, yeah. And what were you always hoping for? Who went through the candy first? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check for dangerous candy. <laughs> Yes, there was a big thing going around when our kids were small. That, and that's just why everybody went to packaged candy and quit giving out apples, apples and popcorn balls. popcorn balls and all of that stuff that everybody had. Caramel apples. Yeah. Used to love to make those for kids. The, the adults did. And unless it was private parties, you just didn't do them because everybody was so scared of... Yeah, they were a big scare there for a while. Yeah. Well, there were some actual... Yeah. One or two cases of blazer ba razor blades. Razor blades, yeah. Being put in apples. Uh, it, one or two cases, it just kind of spooked you, so you got to be careful. Yeah. And there were some where candy had actually been... And you... There for a while Stuff. downtown here, you could actually, the police were set up to where they could get if you wanted it. to take it down there and have them check it, they would. Yep. They'd use little metal detectors and mm -hmm. look for holes in packages and stuff. Yep. Like in the candy bars. And you threw away a lot of, a lot of candy, it might just be for no good reason, but. I remember Tony taking him out. We'd get in the car he, after he, he would went. not wait. No, he would wait. Get in the car, he'd start eating candy. <laughs> and I'd say, hey, don't, don't be eating stuff. you got to go to the next house. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come back in the car and take out a piece of candy. <laughs> Why don't you wait till we get home? We need to eat that stuff. Wait till it's checked. Yeah. We don't want our, We don't want your poison. He would just... He just wanted that chocolate. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't watch where he was running. Half the time he was down there running for a tree or something. Yeah. He was he had ADHD. Did after he left home too, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. we did try at that time. The only I mean he this it's been a long time. But at that time the only medication that they used for ADHD was Ritalin. And they put him on Ritalin and he calmed down for a few months and then boom, it was like opposite. The, it, yeah, it was the total opposite. It made him worse. So we took him off that. They said, well, we could try this up, uh, try something else. It wouldn't be for ADHD, but we could try it. And I said, no, I'm done. Because I just, just, I wasn't going to be putting my kid through this med and that med and all that stuff. And now the schools practically don't want their your kid in school unless they're on medication. Some of these schools, they think they're doctors. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They need to be they need to be brought to task on it. The government didn't even register hyperactivity, which it was called back then, and it was a new term. And they still didn't um, use the hyperactivity as being a valid diagnosis so they wouldn't use it they wouldn't let funding for like special classes and stuff for hyperactivity so what they had to do was they had to label it as 
a behavioral disorder. That followed him throughout his whole school years, all of them. There are some areas where we had to drive him around because there's different streets and stuff. A lot of times I'd just walk with him. Yeah. We'd, we'd go a couple of lengths of the streets and by that time some of them, depending on what age they were, they'd get kind of tired. So we'd get in the car and go on home and check it, call it a night. Yeah. Oh. As far as us, I got a couple pumpkins that you plug in. Yeah, we do. We've got some pumpkins. We've got I'll probably, some. I'll probably put one on this table and one on that table, run an extension cord. Yeah. Yep, we have one. He's got an outlet up there and one up there. Anyhow, well, I'll probably just plug it in there, either this one behind us or us. Anyway. Oh, well, we're going to have the outside lights. Oh, you've got on. one up there, too. That's for the Christmas tree. Yeah. The Christmas lights. Anyway, that way I can just flip the switch and shut them off. There you go. <laughs> but no. Well, it, it was very seldom just Joe taking my, well, until we moved down here. Usually, it was like you and Jim, yeah. or you and, well, did you and Dave ever take them out together? I don't remember. We may have. I, I don't know. But, and the guys, <laughs> I swear, they were as bad as the kids, as far as the spooking and everything. Yeah. But... Anyway, black cats went through several different phases of becoming. I, I know. When I was a kid, if my mom, she was superstitious. If she, if the black cat crossed her path when she was driving the car, she would stop and turn around and go the other way. <laughs> she would undo it. <laughs> she, she would not go after a black cat across the street. <laughs> Oh, you mean she would not go across the black cat's path? No. That is, she that's one the, of the... She would stop the car and turn around and go the other way. I had a friend who would make me do that. One thing I found out about today, you know how it's supposed to be bad luck to walk under a ladder? Yeah. Well, I always thought it because practically it's, it's not a good idea if the ladder falls. You're right there under it, but... I didn't know Egypt had some superstition about triangles. I don't know either. I don't know either. No, walking, walking a path, walking across a black cat's, cat's path, or walking underneath the ladder, or breaking a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> it's all if, bad luck. If you ever watch the Property Brothers on. Well, I don't know. I think they're all just on HGTV. I don't know for sure. But if you ever watch them and see how many mirrors they break in order to get them out of the house as they're redoing. But they seem to be doing pretty good. And it's been well over seven years since they started working. But not to make fun of anybody. But golly, you know, they're just... A lot of these, if you know the history of them, you realize... The whole zombie thing. Have you ever heard of a condition called catalepsy? It is a condition where the heart rate and the breathing rate can go so low as to be undetected by conventional means. That's why now they have the whole brainwave thing. Clinical, uh, there's clinical death and then there's brain death. So when brain death is obvious, then yeah. But they used to, there were people had what they called catalepsy and they would have these episodes and they would think they were dead. And all of a sudden they'd wake up and they were perfectly verbal and everything else, but it started this whole zombie thing. But. And that, and then there's a, an anesthetic that used to be used on some, uh, maybe Haiti, one of those superstitious violence. <laughs> anyway, 
is something that, that I don't know if people would get into it or if the doctors would give it to them, but it would make them seem dead. And so what they used to bury people, this is for before the bombing, they used to bury them with this little thing they could pull and had a bell at the top so they could, somebody could dig them back out. I don't think they did six foot graves in. Anyway, so then once they were out, they would probably see them walking around the cemetery before they left. All kinds of weird things like that. That's why people don't like driving into cemeteries. They're afraid of ghosts and zombies. What else was your mom superstitious about? I'm trying to think. Can't think of anything else. Black, black cats was a pretty common one. Yeah. And there's a lot of black cats. Cats, ladders, and maybe it was about the only thing I remember. Yeah, we were all worried about those. I just always thought the ladders because you were taking your life in danger with those old ones that, you know, the old wooden ones. No. That would lean up against a house or whatever. You walk under that. There's a cartoons where the paint falls down on the person under, who's walking under the ladder, and it's like, learn your lesson, bud. <laughs> but I don't know. There's so many things. But, you know, a lot of it may have come out of terrible stuff. Witches in Europe, a lot of that started out because of women were who had were very beautiful were thought to enchant men who would cheat on their wives or whatever that you know wives would catch them looking at these beautiful women or whatever I don't know I heard this somewhere or whatever but then they would be branded witches <laughs> and once well you, the you, Salem witch trials yeah. those were uh, Big, big, ridiculous, and even even they got um, came to realize how ridiculous it was. Okay, well I'm about ready for a nap. Yeah. So we love you. See ya. Battery saying we're done. We're done. We're done. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> love you.